If you all want to go ahead and close your eyes. Begin to settle into your spot. Starting with three breaths. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. One more time. And allow your awareness to rest on your head. Observing anything going on in your brain, in your muscles, your jaw. Just taking note. Breathing into any tension. And on your exhale, letting out that tension. Letting your awareness shift down to where your shoulders meet your neck. Aware of your spine and its alignment. Aware if your shoulders are pulled up tight or hanging loosely. And if you find tension, releasing it on an exhale. Letting your awareness now shift down to your chest. Noticing your breath. How easy and natural it is. Or maybe how tight and congested it is. Just observing and trying to release any tension on your exhale. Noticing your heartbeat. Noticing if it feels like a subtle tap, tap. Or if it feels like it's racing. And pumping hard. Aware of the magnetic field it's producing around you. and aware of the type of energy you're sending out into the world. And 
And now letting your awareness shift down to your belly, to your abdomen. Aware of if you're hungry or full. Aware of any food processing. And if that feels easy, or if your stomach is in knots, always observing, never judging, never shaming. And if you do feel knots in your stomach, on your exhale, Release that into the universe. And now letting your awareness to shift down into your groin and your hip region. And into your thighs. Noticing how heavy they may be becoming. Down past your knees. Along your calves. And into your feet. Noticing where your feet touch the floor. And how you're physically connected to the space around you. Slowly and temporarily detaching from that space around you. Letting go of time. Busy thoughts. Letting go of your senses, the temperature, the smells, the sounds around you. Letting go of all distractions. and letting all your awareness rest on your being. So 
aware of only your energy and your existence. Letting go of accomplishments, failures, and identifiers. Letting all that awareness focus just on your energy right in the center of your head. The space between the back of your throat and your brow. as though there is an orb of energy floating within that space. And with all your senses dialed down, Allow your sense of feeling emotions to arise. And for a short time, allow your awareness to rest on the obstacles in your life. The things that are unfair. The things that have hurt you. The things that have traumatized you and even hindered you. Aware of the feelings that it rises up within your chest Feel those feelings deeply. Do not turn from them. Do not ignore them. Do not try and be thick skinned. Allow them to penetrate to your heart. and feel those emotions. The wounds from childhood, feel them. The betrayal that you've experienced at someone else's hand. Feel it. The destructive words you've heard. Feel 
feel it. The dreams that have never come into fruition the heartbreak, the loss of a loved one, and anything else that rises to the surface, feel it deeply. You're not avoidant. You're not running from the hurt. To move forward, you have to acknowledge it. And begin to try and release it. So when you have felt the hurts deeply, Begin to speak them to yourself and release them into the universe. Let it go. Let it go. Though you may have been victimized, you are not a victim. It's not who you are. You will no longer be controlled by the hurts of the past. Each day on this journey, you will continue to find healing. And each day it will get easier. And after you've released those things, allow your awareness to rest on your heart. Noticing how you may feel after experiencing the hurtful things. Noticing if you're tense. Noticing if there's more discomfort than there was before. There's nothing you need to do. You just need to be observant 
of your body and how your emotions impact you. And here's where the fun is. I want you to begin to think about the good things in your life. Not as a flood of emotions, but individually taking time to be grateful for the good things. Thinking of the people, be it family, friends, or other loved ones who are in your life. Take your time to think about each one of them and what they bring to your existence. And feel that emotion. Thinking of times that they've made you laugh. A time that someone has made you smile. A time someone has comforted you or encouraged you. Maybe it's a child that you're proud of for just being them. And feel that emotion. How that warmth flows all over your body. How it makes your breath easier. and your body relax. And thinking of the happiest times in your life. birth of a child, a wedding, maybe even a divorce. A time when you felt accomplished, and proud of yourself. Observing the emotions that rise up within you. Thank you.
and begin to think about times in the recent past where you had fun. It was not based on your validity. It was a pure, innocent moment where you forgot about responsibilities. and expectations, stress and shame. Allow that warmth to flow over your body. Hold that feeling as a guide stone for your journey. When the things of the past arise, look to that guide stone. When you feel discouraged, or as if you're failing, look to the guide stone and feel that emotion. want our minds to be driven by our inner reality, our truest self, and not by our outward reality, our false self. guided by the ultimate reality. Not circumstances, not expectations, so feeling the emotions of that guide stone Begin to look at your ultimate reality. What are your desires? What are your dreams?
let that reality guide you. And as you sit in that reality and contemplate that reality, begin to open your heart to receiving loving kindness. From anyone around you, Receiving loving kindness from me and the others meditating right now. Receiving loving kindness from others on this journey. And in return, sending loving kindness to those around you, to the others who are meditating with you. to your loved ones, to your neighbors, to those who are suffering and in need. To your enemies. And to all life, known and unknown. And when you feel like you're at a stopping point, you can gradually tap your feet on the ground to feel connected to the space around you again. Begin to observe the sounds around you. As you awaken your senses, and whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes in peace.